welcome to the video so super super over 9,000 excited today to share with you guys something that I've been talking about for years on the channel now that finally happened and yeah let's just go and show you guys so baby are you excited to show them the surprise very excited <laughs> <laughs> do you want to give them a hint no no they'll hints? see they'll see <laughs> all right let's go you ready yep So, I can't believe that I'm finally able to say this, but your boy bought his first home and he's growing up. <laughs> oh my god, that feels so good to say. I thought this day would never happen, to be honest. I remember when I first moved back to Hawaii about like four or five years ago. If you guys remember the vlogs back then, I was out looking for a home to buy and going to open houses and all that stuff. But to be honest, I just got just really demotivated just because of how ridiculous the market is in Hawaii. And what I thought was ridiculous back then got even more ridiculous now. And I'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video. But yeah, I just got demotivated, so I stopped looking. And then these past six to eight months, Sandra and I have been going out and grinding it every Sunday, open house after open house after open house. Those of you guys who follow me on IG Story have been seeing me post, you know, views from the different open houses and stuff like that. It's just a grind and a hustle. But we finally found one, and I'm just so happy and excited just to share this with you guys. We're not gonna do the full house tour today. I'll save that for a future video, so stay tuned for that. However, I do have a ton of plans for this home there's some renovations that i need to do some changes that need to be made and i'll take you guys throughout the whole thing in the next couple of months you know the hardest part about finding a home was for me personally my gym area the gym area is the hardest thing like a lot of houses don't have an area where the ceilings are high enough to put your gym or the area is big enough especially in hawaii where real estate is really expensive the second hardest part was just how ridiculously competitive it is here the average home right now is going for a million dollars here in hawaii i don't know about like the whole island but as far as like the place the areas that i'm looking at a million dollars gets you a uh, one to two bedroom, one bath house. That's about a thousand square feet, 800 to maybe 1200 square feet if you get a good deal, depending how big the lot is. So it's not very big. So a million dollars does not get you very far in today's market. And it sucks because I know so many people who it's not even on their wish list, dream list, not even a goal of theirs to own a home in Hawaii just because of how ridiculous the prices are. It's just the average income here is just too low. The prices here are too high. And for me, like even all my offers that I put in, all my top offers that I put in got beaten out by cash offers, just people coming in that are just cash heavy. It's just ridiculous. So I just want to thank you guys. Like there's no way I would be able to afford this. There's no way I would be in the position that I am today without all your guys' help and love and support. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Actually, do me a favor. I like to do this from time to time, but comment down below like how long you've been subscribed to my channel. What's the first video you've seen on my channel and how long have you been subscribed? I would love to know. And I just want you guys to know that I appreciate you guys. I know some of you guys may not watch all the videos. Some of you guys may just pop in, you know, off and on, and that's all good. But for those of you that watch each and every video who, you know, like my Instagram posts, who just support me, like I fucking love you guys. And I've been like, it's just ridiculous. I've been doing YouTube for s over seven years now. And I remember just first jumping on the YouTube scene and, you know, reading about all the comments like, oh, Asians can't get buff. He must be on steroids and steroids this, steroids that, Bolo Young and all this stuff. And I'd read that each and every day. And it's crazy to see where the fitness industry has gone since then, you know. I never get, really get those comments anymore. Like, yes, I still get the Bolo comments, but I don't get the comments about, you know, Asians can't get buff anymore. There's so many Asian influencers out there right now and just influencers across like the fitness industry has just grown massively since i got in i remember when i first got in people were telling me you know it's so saturated it's too late youtube is you know youtube's oversaturated there's no new channels that can make it but i just I just had a dream that I want to help people. I had a goal that, you know, I want to help people. I truly believe that I was put on this planet, put on this earth to help people and transform lives through fitness. Like my whole life, I've never been, I've never like felt like I was gifted or talented in anything. Like I'm the testament that hard work beats time when talent won't, won't work hard. Like, you know, for those of you guys who might feel the same way, like that's the truth. You guys can outwork anything that you guys really want. You know, you guys don't have to have the talent in all the, in all the world. You guys don't have to be gifted. You know, there's so many more people that are more gifted and talented than I am, but are lazy and don't put in the work, put in the effort to just unleash their potential, unleash their Gohan, you know? I just want you guys to know that. Like, if I can do this, if I can own a house, if I can 
you know, grow this channel, chase my dreams, and all of you guys can too. I'm just a normal person, and I want you guys to understand that and believe it and ascend. Like, I preach that in each and every one of my videos, always ascending, never settling. And that puts me to another point. Like, no, this probably isn't a forever home. This isn't my dream home or anything. Um, this is some place that, you know, I don't know. I don't know where we'll take it. Like, I'll keep you guys updated as we go. But this is just my first house and where we're gonna stay for now um, until we figure things out later. But yeah, this is getting long. Sorry for the long ramble and rant. I just want to iterate to you guys how much I appreciate and love you guys. I've been doing this for a long time. I know a lot of you guys have come and gone throughout the years, but I really fucking love and appreciate all of you. And we're hungry. Let's go find some food. All right, so we're here at Waihole Poi Factory. In my opinion, the best Hawaiian food on Oahu. It is popping, there's a line. But yeah, it is so flipping good here. So good, the best. Yeah, for those of you guys on Oahu looking for good old Hawaiian food, my Holy Poi Factory. We got Halpia ice cream. It's pretty much just coconut in Hawaiian. But it's super good. This one looks super creamy. I think they make it fresh here, you know? Yeah, so Hapia comes like normally as like a little jello thing, but there's ice cream. Wow, that's so fresh and so good. Yeah? Oh it's it not too sweet either. I love it. You wanna try? Yeah. a lot of hapia ice cream and the problem with lots of hapia ice cream is they put like too much hapia in it this tastes like a real natural like blend of hapia it's very creamy and not too overpowering oh my god this is probably one of the best hapia ice creams i've ever tried and i love hapia so just made it home in time there was a fedex guy literally right outside knocking on the door waiting for my signature luckily we got the package i'll show you guys what we got so I don't follow computer specs at all anymore, but this was a pre-built computer, it has a 3080 Ti, which is apparently really good and hopefully really fast. And yeah, I also have a new monitor on the way. So super excited about this. What we got here is some Kulo Pig. Their Kulo Pig is absolutely delicious. It is so well flavored, so soft melt in your mouth. We got the Lao Lao. Um, usually there's like a piece of pork and some fish inside as well um, once you dig into the middle. Got some beef luau. So you can either get beef luau or squid luau. I prefer beef luau just because beef. It looks nasty like diarrhea but it tastes delicious. Don't worry about that. And then we got also like lomi lomi salmon which is just like tomatoes, onions. I don't even like all these vegetables to be honest but when you throw them on rice and just mix it up it tastes absolutely delicious especially with all the Hawaiian food. And then we got some chili water. This is the secret as well. Throw some chili water on that bad boy. But yeah, we are starving. We're gonna also watch some Dexter. Yes, we watch things other than anime. Um, to be honest, while we eat, we don't like watching anime just because it's hard to read the subtitles while you're eating. So we usually pick something that, you know, we don't have to read. And we're on season three right now. So comment down below if you guys are caught up. I know there's a new scene that just released, but it's so good. All right, so I'm gonna rest my stomach and got a ton of online coaching work still to do. So I'm gonna end the video here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart and just appreciate you guys really for being here. Um, like the video, subscribe if you guys are new. For online coaching, for those of you guys who are serious about changing your lives in the new year, maybe you wanna get shredded, maybe you just wanna like what you see in the mirror, shoot me an email, gokuflex and gmail.com. Let's get to work. For programs, check out cnarmy.com. Much love, strength, and honor. Aloha.